Welcome to our show, The World Brief, where we zip through the swirling currents of global news, making sense of the chaos one headline at a time. Today, we're taking you on a whirlwind tour of the latest happenings that are shaping our world, from the corridors of power to the digital realms of entertainment. First up, we're diving into the complex dynamics of the Global South, the Japan-US alliance's delicate dance, and the Biden administration's environmental policy shakeup. It's a world where the term Global South is gaining traction, Japan frets over the reliability of its American ally, and oil companies are being told to clean up their act, literally. These stories, brought to us by The Economist, The Diplomat, and the Associated Press, respectively, paint a picture of a world grappling with the challenges of diplomacy, environmental stewardship, and the quest for a unified vision for the future. But wait, there's more. We're also peeking into the realm of political intrigue and the silver screen's latest offering. Democratic donors are opening their wallets wide for President Joe Biden's legal defense, while over in the entertainment world, Amazon Prime Video is set to dazzle us with Fallout, a TV series adaptation of the beloved video game. And let's not forget our neighbors to the north, where Canada is wrestling with the specter of foreign interference in its elections. These tales, courtesy of the Associated Press and Yahoo US, showcase the multifaceted nature of our world, where politics, entertainment, and international relations intertwine. So, buckle up and stay tuned as we delve deeper into these stories, unraveling the threads of our complex global tapestry. From the shifting sands of geopolitical alliances to the battlefields of digital entertainment and the front lines of democracy's defense, we've got you covered. Please continue watching for the detailed content, and let's explore these fascinating developments together. In our rapidly evolving world, the dynamics of power, economics, and environmental responsibility are constantly being redefined. From the corridors of global diplomacy to the rugged terrains of public lands, nations and administrations are navigating the complex web of modern challenges. Let's embark on a journey through the insights of various media outlets to understand these pressing issues more vividly. Starting with the concept of the global south, as discussed by The Economist, we uncover a term that encapsulates most non-Western countries, yet remains absent from official maps and atlases. This term has surged in popularity, reflecting the increasing significance and sway of these nations in global matters. China emerges as a particularly ambitious figure within this grouping, eagerly seeking to spearhead the progression of the emerging world. Despite this ambition, the global south is marked by its diversity, making consensus on issues an uphill battle. While there's a common thread of critiquing Western dominance, the global south struggles to formulate a unified, constructive vision for the future. This scenario paints a picture of a fragmented yet pivotal collective on the global stage, hinting at the complexity of international relations and the challenges of forging a cohesive path forward. Shifting focus to the diplomatic arena, the diplomat brings to light the delicate dance of the Japan-US alliance through the lens of Japanese Prime Minister Kishida Fumio's apprehensions. Addressing the US Congress, Kishida underscored the crucial role of continued US support, particularly in the context of Ukraine's fight against Moscow's aggression. His speech was more than a call for solidarity, it was a strategic move to secure commitments ahead of potential shifts in the U.S. political landscape post-November. The specter of a Trump re-election looms large for Kishida, stirring fears of an America that could become an unpredictable and unreliable ally. This narrative reveals the tightrope that nations must walk in maintaining alliances, especially when future political climates are uncertain. It underscores the importance of diplomatic foresight and the quest for stability in an unpredictable world. Transitioning from the intricacies of international alliances to the domain of environmental policy, the Associated Press sheds light on a significant shift under the Biden administration. In a bold move, the administration has mandated that oil and gas companies fork out more to drill on public lands, alongside adhering to stricter regulations for the remediation of old or abandoned wells. This policy adjustment sees the royalty rate for oil drilling ascend to 16.67%, a notable increase from the century-old rate of 12.5%. Furthermore, it raises the minimum leasing bond for energy companies, aiming to alleviate taxpayers from the financial burden of cleaning up orphaned wells. This development signals a more assertive stance on environmental stewardship and fiscal responsibility, reflecting a broader commitment to tackling the challenges posed by energy production on public lands. It's a story of how governance intersects with environmental conservation, highlighting the delicate balance between resource extraction and the safeguarding of natural assets for future generations. In weaving together these narratives from The Economist, The Diplomat, and The Associated Press, we're presented with a tapestry of global concerns that span geopolitical dynamics, diplomatic alliances, and environmental policy. 
Each story, while distinct in its focus, underscores the interconnectedness of our modern world. They remind us of the complexities that nations face in striving for progress, security, and sustainability. As we continue to navigate these challenges, the insights from these media outlets serve as a valuable compass, guiding us through the ever-changing landscape of global affairs. In a fascinating turn of events, the Associated Press has shed light on how Democratic donors have stepped up to cover over $1 million in legal fees for President Joe Biden. These expenses have accumulated over a year-long special counsel investigation into Biden's handling of classified documents. This financial support from the Democratic National Committee's legal account, primarily filled by high-dollar donors, marks a significant move. However, it's not without its complexities, especially when considering the contrast with former President Donald Trump, who has utilized over $100 million in donor funds for his legal battles, including his upcoming criminal trial in New York. This situation raises questions about the use of party funds for legal defenses and its implications on political discourse. Switching gears to the entertainment world, Yahoo US introduces us to the much-anticipated TV series, Fallout, premiering on Amazon Prime Video. This series, based on the widely popular video game of the same name, transports viewers to the post-apocalyptic ruins of the United States, following a devastating nuclear war with China. The narrative follows of Vault Dweller, exploring the world, completing quests, and interacting with various factions. Set in 2296, the series promises a mix of new and familiar faces from the game, offering a rich lore that serves as both a prequel and a sequel to the original games. With its retrofuturistic styling and a 1950s aesthetic, Fallout aims to capture the essence of its source material, something many video game adaptations strive for but often miss. The success of recent adaptations like The Witcher and Castlevania offers hope that Fallout could pave the way for more faithful and engaging renditions of beloved video games. Meanwhile, in Canada, a report by Yahoo US highlights the mounting pressure on the Canadian Security Intelligence Service, size, over reports of foreign meddling in the country's federal elections. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau expressed his unawareness of a report alleging Beijing's interference in the 2019 and 2021 elections. The size has warned that foreign interference will persist until it's perceived as an existential threat to Canada's democracy. Director David Vigneault's testimony before the inquiry into foreign interference underscores the critical challenges democracies face in safeguarding their electoral processes against external influences. This situation in Canada serves as a stark reminder of the ongoing threats to democratic institutions worldwide, emphasizing the need for vigilance and transparency in addressing such challenges. These stories, from the political landscapes in the United States and Canada to the entertainment realms of post-apocalyptic TV series, illustrate the diverse and complex world we navigate. Whether it's understanding the intricacies of political funding and foreign interference or diving into the rich lore of a video game turned TV series, these narratives offer insight into the challenges, innovations, and creative endeavors that define our times. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email.